Aquarius, hello my loves and welcome back to the channel. Supreme gratitude for your love and support. We are going to tap into how does your person feel reading for you on this beautiful Tuesday. Um, you can have Aquarius in your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus or North Node. There may be a message in this reading for you, okay? If you would like a personal reading, please click the description box below. Visit my website to book your personal reading. Oh. Hold on, Aquarius. I dropped it. It's a cot. Um. Okay, make sure you like the video if you are watching the video. Okay. Again, thank you so much for your support. Supreme gratitude for all the support and love that you guys show. And also make sure you check out our sub channel. You can go to the home home page of my profile on YouTube and you'll see that there. Or just click on the channels tab and you'll be able to go to that page as well. Be mindful that we do go live Mondays and Tuesdays. Um, Tuesday night, um, I'm live between 10.15 and 10.30 uh, CPT time. Um, <laughs> Eastern Standard Time, and I do a, a collective reading, and then I do donations for answers at the end, okay? So, it's on the uh, sub page, so make sure you check that out. The cat, y'all. It's the cat. So in reference to this person that's on your mind right now, true love, this is a divine connection, all right? So I can tell you right now that the love is true. The love is pure. Um, this person loves you to the core and you love them to the core, okay? So be mindful of that. Now, there was some deception in the past, okay? Um, someone who was not being honest or someone who was withholding information, right? And that could have came to the forefront all right and you may have felt rejection okay um rejection is divine intervention right so there could have been a separation or a split or something like that after some information came about after something you know hit the fan there was some type of separation set your intentions high to know to know you deserve to receive love joy and happiness so do i think this situation is done and over no because it's a divine connection um it's, I feel like there's a a bump in the road that you got to get over, okay? But you have to know what it is that you require, you know? What, what, what do you want? You deserve to be happy. Like, <clears throat> sometimes people grow up in households where they, they aren't giving a, a good example of what real love is. Real love doesn't really hurt. Real love doesn't, you know, you, you shouldn't have to tolerate things that you wouldn't normally tolerate because there's love. No. Um, when two people love each other a lot, they come together and they grow for the sake of the love that they have for each other. So, yeah, things are going to happen, you know, definitely could be separations as well. That's why I tell people all the time, like, when you separate from somebody, especially if you don't know what type of connection you have with this person, don't say, oh, okay, I'm done with this person for good. Oh, yeah, that's not my person. I'm still looking. You don't know that. Especially if you're not spiritually in tune to be able to miss the messages and miss the marks. Like, you don't know that, right? So, be mindful of that particular energy. Be mindful of your words because you could be pushing your person further and further away from you. When sometimes you can meet your person and it's not time yet and later down the line, that's when you and your person come together to be with each other. So, be mindful of the words that you speak on the people that come in and out of your life, okay? So, your person's energy is here. Your energy is here. Overall energy in the likely outcome, okay? So, how does Aquarius person feel about them? Past, present, and future. Okay. Oh, okay. 
Okay. And how does Aquarius feel about this person, past, present, and future? energy here mm -hmm. <laughs> the overall energy okay okay and <laughs> the likely outcomes of this question clarify that yep we are Aquarius okay so <clears throat> your person could be any sign but we have fire water and earth here they could definitely be any sign okay heavy on the fire energy okay so your what is your person's Venus, okay? They could have fire in a Venus placement um, if they're not a sun fire. So how do you feel about this person in the past? It's like in the past, it could have just been a cut buddy situation. You know what I'm saying? When they called you, they made you happy. You know, y'all was cool. Y'all was just friends. Da, da, da. It was just what it was. It's something involved. Presently, you're getting communication, the wheel of fortune, things are turning in your favor, okay? If you haven't heard from this person, you will start to hear from this person. Or if you've already been talking to them, you guys are communicating with forward movement, knowing what it is that you want, knowing what it is that you want to do, okay? The future energy is success. You having success in this situation, you knowing what it is that you want to do, um, and you winning, right? You're winning, you're, you're, you're aligning and doing what's, getting what's best for you, okay? So, with the six of wands here, that's very good. Like you, you're feeling as though you will be, you will have success in this situation. Now, in the past, your person had multiple people that they were offering their love to, um, and presently, it's like they are so busy focused on their real life and what's happening in their current life that they are not paying attention. That you know, that that, that miss, they're missing a blessing, basically. Um, because they're so focused on everything that they have going, co going on in their life. But in the future, this person is coming out of hermit mode. This person is, you know, stepping forward. They're coming out of feeling like they don't want anything. They're coming out of feeling like, you know, this isn't what they, you, they don't know what to do. They're no longer going to be in a confused energy. Open that door. They're no longer going to be in a confused energy. Your overall energy here is the lover's card, the divine connection, Gemini energy. Okay, so someone could have Gemini in their chart, but this is the divine connection that the cards speak about here. This is definitely true love, all right? Your likely outcome is your seven of wands and your king of swords in reverse. Someone being very protective over their energy, um, but basically not being truthful. You know, king of swords in reverse, this could be you, your energy, this could be your person energy, but this is Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Um... Someone not being truthful, someone not, you know, stepping into their own ashe. So we're going to clarify the outcome. All right, so let's clarify um, the seven of wands, the collective spirit. All right, so... That's clarified by the Nine of Wands in reverse and then the Hermit card. This is like somebody giving up on something and then going back in Hermit mode. Like, okay, I want to make it work, but then, okay, I just don't know. I need to figure out what I want to do. All right, let's clarify the King of Swords in reverse. Why Why are they going back into that energy? Let's clarify the King of Swords in reverse.
Okay, five of pentacles here. Somebody could be getting left out in the cold. Someone could be having money problems as well. But the king of swords in reverse is like, there's a lot of love here. It's family, you know. Um, someone could be very wishy-washy with their energy, but this is wish fulfillment. You just really have to have patience with this person. Like, live your life, do whatever it is that you're doing, but you have to have patience with this person. Sag energy, Pisces energy here. Um, this is going to require patience, man. Somebody here is just like not being truthful, not being honest, you know, in and out with their energy, flighty. Okay, let's clarify the Hermit in reverse for the likely, for the um, future thoughts. So the, what's going to bring this person out of Hermit energy is that there could definitely be some type of... <sighs> There could be some type of argument or something like that that you and this person may have, some type of disagreement, and you withdraw your feelings from this person in the future. Like, you just completely withdraw the love, and then this person is going to want to apologize to you, and then, therefore, take action towards you, right? This is divine justice. It's like, the more you give this person, the more you give this person, like, the more they feel like, okay... I, I, I got it, right? Like, I got Aqua. I'm not worried about this. I'm not worried about that. The more you give in to this connection, the more they are like, you know what I'm saying? Playing games. Like, they could be coming into good energy, but in the future, it's like still wishy-washy. So, um, I'm... <laughs> You're going to really have to completely remove your energy from this person, like, all together. And, like, this person, it's like, if you get to the point, now it's like, either this person genuinely is going to do right, or they're going to get to the point where you remove your energy from them, then they want to get right. And then once they get you back, then they're back on the same thing. You know what I'm saying? It's... It, it's a growth process, man. So it's true love. It's a divine connection. I'm not here to tell you, um, I know you're not doing that. I'm not here to judge you. I don't look, <laughs> um, it's, it, it's going to require patience. Um, this person loves you, you love them, but they're not ready. Okay. There could be an age difference between you and this person as well. Um, so be mindful of that. The feminine energy is older than the masculine energy. I did see that. All right. Um, so, Hey, Good luck. <laughs> I say.